Hi, my name is Sivan, and I go to Mission San Jose High School, and I'm an incoming senior. So in my first milestone video, I have built this base robotic arm that is controlled by these two joysticks. And I said that I wanted to implement object detection in, or recognition into the arm. So in order to do that, I have implemented a Raspberry Pi and a Pi camera into the project. So the first steps to getting together was to first figure out how I'm going to get the two boards to communicate. So in order to do that, I've set up a simple serial communication using this watt cable. And serial communication is basically just a way for both of them to communicate with each other by just transferring data. It's a bi-directional communication. And in order to set up the object detection, I have downloaded an open CV and a few Python files in order to be able to recognize some some objects like a glass or a mouse. And I'll show you guys a demo in a bit. But a few challenges I've faced so far are first downloading the Arduino IDE onto the Raspberry Pi. I was just on the wrong version initially, and I just replaced that. And another problem was downloading the OpenCV. So originally, I was on the latest Bullseye OS, but I had to switch to an older Buster OS, specifically the one in 2021 latest is May 5th, I think. And yeah, I had to use that because some files that I need to be downloaded weren't recognized and weren't available in the new OS. So yeah, I'll give you guys a demonstration on it. All right, so here's both of them open, the IDE and the Tani on the Raspberry side. So on the Raspberry side, we had to import the serial while the ID already had it. So both of them have loops right now. And if I hit run, you should see them both communicating. Serial OK. So now is the Raspberry sending messages to the Arduino and it's receiving feedback. So that's why it's indicating it right now. You should also see a video on your screen that shows the two lights blinking above the power, which indicate it receiving and sending information back. So yeah, now if I hit control C, that closes it. And for the object detection, this is the code. It also runs off a Cocoa library that has most of the stuff pre-identified, so it should recognize some objects so let's see let's run it so it recognizes the cup and me so yeah that's how it works i'll try to aim and get them more precise but yeah it's perfect right now so thank you so as you guys saw in the demonstrations both the object recognition and the serial communication work perfectly so now next steps of completing this project will be to figuring out how I can get the Raspberry Pi to instruct the servos on the arm to pick up certain objects like this cup or a battery when asked to. So yeah, thank you for watching.